Hello and welcome everyone to the Ask Eric D show number two.、Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. My really good friend、uh, has agreed. I yanked him out of his busy life, and he's agreed to come hang out with me for a couple minutes and really just talk real estate. So,、uh, without further ado, we got the man, the myth, the legend, Marty Azale. Correct me if I'm wrong. You've sold you know well over what three thousand homes in your career. I mean, what what, what would you at say? At least、um, from、um, just from two thousand. Seven to two thousand eleven, we did twenty eight hundred homes. Okay, so I mean, we're, we're, so probably closer to five thousand. Five thousand homes. Yeah, that's awesome. Honestly,、so, how is real estate right now? Real estate is always good. Okay,、um, in a good market, it's great. In a bad market, it's better.、Mm-hmm. And so, if you're not in real estate, you know,、um, and you are just a regular consumer, a bystander, someone who just is a general public and、uh, good American. Um, what would you do different in regards to my business? What I would do different is I would start my database much earlier.、Mm-hmm. I would have started my database year one.、Um, I probably sold fifteen hundred homes before I ever thought about using a database. For personal wealth, I I, I would have I would have bought more sooner.、Mm-hmm. Um, I kept waiting for the dip. Buy real estate. Buy real estate whenever you can afford it. Buy it. It doesn't matter if it's high. It doesn't matter if it's low. Looking back at it, I should I should have bought more and I should have bought more often. When you say that,、um, you should have bought more and you should have bought more often.、Um, why? I I didn't buy certain things because I felt I was paying top dollar for them at the time.、Mm. Um, mm. You know, oh four, oh five.、Um, You know, I was like, ah,、oh, we're, we're we're at the peak. It can't go much higher. Had I bought that stuff in '05 and '06, even though it was the peak, today it's still worth more.、Mm. You know, I mean, it still made two hundred thousand from that high. If 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 you're not looking to sell anything, I mean, if if it's just strictly business, real estate business, you can buy any time. Just buy and wait. Don't wait and buy、mm. to or to buy. Right? Just 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 buy. You know, talk to people that that have money or 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 that have access to money or or that are actually good at what they do, and they will show you how to get money.、Mm. I mean, getting money is today for for us is、mm. that's the easy part、yeah. of that's the easiest part of this equation.、Mm. So, so, obviously, buy sooner, keep more. We see buyers on a regular basis. We talk to clients all the time,、um, and they're always like, "Eric, be honest with me. Is, is now a good time to buy?" For personal residents, it's always a good time to buy, no matter what. Yeah, but you can't go wrong with real estate.、Mm-hmm. It's it might do this. You can always you can always touch it. <laughs> Absolutely,、um, it's tangible. Yeah,、uh, it's low、uh, liability, low risk.、Um, for someone though who who's not in the business, what would you imagine would be the best? Recommendation for someone like that to actually buy a property. I mean, like, I mean, it's scary. You know, you go from renting to owning. You got to put your nest egg down for the most part. Sure,、um, but but you, you got to put your nest egg into something, anyways, right? I mean,、mm. you either put it in the bank in a savings account, or if you're paying rent, you don't get the deductions. Number one, right? You you, you don't get you don't get the equity.、Mm. You don't get the upside potential. I mean, everything is risky in life, right? But if if you're living in it anyways, right? If you, if you look at there, there's people that live in apartments for 20 years, 25 years. A buddy of mine has lived in the same house for 18 years. I'm like, yeah, yeah I, I, you're I, gonna pay that thing off yeah, already. Yeah, no, I, I, I came from a family that way. That okay, so we rented. They rent. They must have rented for over 25 years. Same house, apartment. Oh, oh. Apartment. so so、yeah. you see what I'm saying? I mean,、mm-hmm. you're you're gonna spend that money anyways.、Yeah. Why not give it to yourself,、mm-hmm. right? And there's there's no way over the term of Even every ten years, that it, it it's not going to appreciate at least fifteen to twenty percent. Like I told you, the the highs in '05 and '06, we're higher than that today.、Mm-hmm. Now the level, the 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 market, I think, is leveling out a little bit.、Mm-hmm. By no means is it plummeting, but even if it was to plummet, it doesn't matter.、Mm. I'm not panicking and selling. I'm buying more on the way down.、Mm-hmm. Spend your nest egg. <laughs> Spend your nest egg.、Okay. <laughs> Absolutely.、Uh, so it's okay to eat the the ramen <laughs> noodles for a few days if you're going to be buying the property. Long term, absolutely.、Um, what's the bad of real estate right now? Is there any bad? What's going on? <laughs>、um, you know, th- I I don't think there's anything bad in real estate. I think there's 
bad represent representers of real estate. Mm. Um, you know, there's a lot of agents that aren't the most ethical, or mm. yeah. um, but. But overall, I mean, if, if you By have... By the way, you, were, you pointed at me. Are, are no, 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 I, I'm, I'm, I just, for the record. I'm pointing at you because we, 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 we both know those, those... I mean, we do enough transactions so where we I, see people on the other end. By no means... I'm offended. No, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, um, no, I'm but but there, there's, there's, there, there's, there, there's... I think people misrepresent a yeah. lot. Yeah. Right? So people then have a bad taste in their mouth. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> somebody who doesn't really know what they're doing that can't really perform a proper service, and therefore they're disservicing their client. Mm -hmm. um, I think if, if somebody's well-educated and can show people the, the upside and the future of where this is going mm -hmm. via market trend, via, via economic trend and, and, and market value, I, I, that, that, that's the only downside I see. I think people make us look bad. Mm. Um, but when it's, again, like I said, it's so easy to make money. So um, in the next... Two years. So, you know, yes. I, we, we talked, we've been talking, the market for the next couple of years, it, it's, the, don't run for the hills, people. No. Go, you know, seek uh, your local realtor, uh, talk to them, you know, talk about real estate. Uh, the rates are extremely low, but for the next couple of years, what do you think is gonna happen in the market? You said it's leveling out, so can you? Yeah, I, th I, th I think it's gonna level out. Um, before you guys hire a real estate agent, I mean, if you're not local, if you are local, definitely call Eric. Thank you. Um, but but more, so, more so than that, if you're not local, interview agents. Interview agents like, like you would a brain surgeon or, or an attorney or, or somebody that, that you're going to trust the biggest asset of your life to. Um, talk to 15 of them. Talk to 10 of them. You know, get comfortable with, with who you're going to hire. I, I think that's super important. Um, as far as the, the state of real estate, the economic s state of mind is, is still stable. Mm. right? Jobs are still good. They're... they're there, there, there's still money in the street. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're fine. Yeah. I, I just, I think we just, you know, we, we've just, we've reached a little bit of a ceiling. It's, mm -hmm. we just need to level out a little bit, wait for, for the population to catch up, consumer confidence to, to kind of get comfortable with this level. Mm -hmm. And I think we'll, we'll be fine. I don't see this plummeting. I don't, I don't see a, a 2007 mm -hmm. in this market. Mm -hmm. You've shared with me that the last 10 years, you, you've prioritized family. You, you actually in the past shared with me that you, uh, you went on a sabbatical. Is that right? I did. <laughs> Marty's crushing it, doing business, and then all of a sudden, he has a, a, a point in his life where he just kind of, you need to get away. I always thought that when I made X, whatever X was, right? Uh, 100,000, 200,000, then it became 500,000, then it became 700. X was always a different number. Um, I would be happy, which is kind of odd, right? I mean, so when I when I can when I can make three hundred thousand dollars, I I can be happy. I can relax and be happy. And when I can make seven, I can be happy. And, and then it was a million and a million three and a million five. And um, no matter what I did, um, I just I, I wasn't happy. It got to the point where I was having the best year of my life. We we were selling. We sold four hundred and six homes that year. Uh, at that point, and I remember sitting in front of my office trying to convince myself to go in. Um, and that was my aha moment, you know, that no matter how much money I made, that wasn't going to be my happy place. It, happiness had nothing to do with, with my income. So I did this thing, it's called the, the liberation experience. Um, and it's, uh, it's basically a 3,000 mile <coughs> trek through India um, with what you're wearing, a change of clothes and a hundred dollar bill. So the, the interesting about this is that you're all by yourself. You're in a country that you don't know anybody. Um, it is the most spiritual and as far as I'm concerned, the most enlightened place in the world. Wait, where did you sleep? On the streets and wherever, wherever I, I could find a place to sleep. Sometimes people would invite me into their houses. The first thought that comes to my mind is safety. The second is hygiene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both, both those go out the window like day two. Um, <laughs> wow! Yeah, uh, by Talk day five, you're 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 dumpster diving and looking for food. By by day seven, you'll you, eat anything you, you, from you, anybody. Uh, you dumpster dived and looked for food. Absolutely, absolutely. Interesting. Yeah, I actually slept in a trash can at night. Uh, you start to realize that there's so much more to to the journey than than the roof or the you know or the or the bed or 
you know, it's, it's, there, there's so many simple things that, that people that have so much less than me are happy with. You know, you're, you're, you're walking through the middle of nowhere and you have like these kids that will, will never see more than $1,000 in their entire life combined. And they're happy. I mean, they're, they're like legitimately, legitimately happy. And so I realized, I'm like, wow, you know, here I am. Hell, I got a TV in my bathroom, for God's sakes. And, and I'm complaining? I mean, where do I get the right to complain? Mm -hmm. You know, where, whereas in India, you have 200 kids lined up around a car battery that's running a 13-inch TV. You realize really early on how grateful you should be and what little things, what stupid things we take for granted. So I vowed when I, when I finally finished, uh, and surprisingly, I, I made it through that, I was not gonna do anything that didn't make me happy anymore. One last question. Sure. What's the one thing that you're most proud of? I think my, my, my goal is, is to give more than I receive. Mm. And I think that over the last eight years or so that I have done a really good job of that. I think by the time my life is over, um, that's what people are gonna remember me for and, and that's kind of how I wanna leave. I mean, I, I wanna leave a positive impact. You know? uh, that's, ultimately, that, that's my biggest thing, right? I wanna, I wanna leave clients better than I met them. I wanna leave people better than I met them. I, I wanna leave my friends better because they met me and, and spent time with me. Mm -hmm. um, that is my ultimate goal. Steve? So, yeah, I mean, if, if I could do that, mm -hmm. I could be a, a great example for my daughter, mm -hmm. who then will in turn hopefully do the same thing moving forward. Hey, Marty, thank you so much, brother. I appreciate your time. Thank you for the time. I appreciate everything. Um, and uh, we look forward to seeing what things look like for you and how much more people you've... By the next time you're down here, let's just hear more stories about how many people's lives you've changed. That's the goal. All right.